So here's a quick recap on substitution, which is really just replacing the letters with the numbers. So sometimes we're given kind of ugly looking algebraic expressions with lots of variables or letters. But then they'll give us some information that says like, well, let's pretend that x is 2, y is 3, and z is negative 1. What happens if that's true? So what we need to do is our first step, replace the variable or the letter with the given value. So in this first example, I see that they're telling me that x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, z is equal to negative 1. So here I see 2y, so that means y has to be 3. Now, here's one of the things that's often uh, missed, is that people will forget that there's a little invisible time sign between the 2 and the x, or sorry, the 2 and the y, that that's actually 2 times y. So I wouldn't write that with substitution, just turning the y into a 3 and calling that 23. That would be incorrect. We have to do 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 gets me 6. So remember that. You have a little invisible time sign in between any two letters or between a letter and a number. So again here another invisible time sign between the x and the y. So let's look at this one. If x is 2, I'm going to say 2 times y, which is 3, and then plus z, which was a negative 1, so plus a negative 1. So let's do it. Times in first because of our order of operations. 2 times 3 gives me 6. And what's plus a negative 1? Remember that a positive and a negative when you're adding them become a negative, so that's basically 6 minus 1, which would be equal to 5. Okay, next example. Here I see a fraction. And it's a big fraction bar, and the first thing I'm going to think about is that I know that there's a couple invisible things going on here. Those are little invisible times between the 5 and the x. But also, because that's a big fraction bar and there's more than one thing on the bottom, there's an addition or a subtraction down there, I need to think about putting brackets around everything on the bottom. So I'll put brackets around the x and the y, because this is really 5 times x divided by whatever x plus y is, the whole thing. So let's do it in steps. Replacing the x first on top, 5 times x is 2, divided by what's x plus y, so that's going to be 2 plus 3. And again, I can think about putting brackets there. And you can also think about putting brackets on the top of the fraction bar as well if you want. So we'll do the top first, 5 times 2 is 10, and then 2 plus 3 is 5 on bottom and 10 divided by 5 gets me to 2. So again, watch out for those invisible brackets on the bottom if there's more than one thing, or on the top if there's more than one thing. Next problem, here we see brackets are given to us. Let's see what's going on here. This is going to have 3 times z minus 2 times y, and then all of that is taken to the power of 2, or is squared. So let's go with this. 3 times a negative 1, minus 2 times a 3, and the whole thing is squared. So again, z is negative 1, so I'll write negative 1, 3 times negative 1, minus 2 times y is 3, so 2 times 3, and the whole thing is squared. So using our order of operations, we've got to figure out inside the brackets first. So we'll do the timesing. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And here I can look at this as 2 times 3, is 6, so that's minus 6, leaving the minus sign there, just looking at that part there. 2 times 3 is 6, so minus 3, minus 6, and the whole thing is squared. Okay, remembering our negative numbers, negative 3, and I'm going to go 6 more in the negative direction, so negative 3 minus another 6 is going to take me to negative 9, scroll down a little bit, to negative 9, and that whole thing is squared, which means that's going to be negative 9 times negative 9, and a negative times a negative gets you a positive. So nine, negative 9 times negative 9 is positive 81, and that's our answer. So that's substitution. Remember, they'll give you some information. You just have to replace it correctly inside of the equation or the expression, and watch out for your invisible time signs and brackets that might be needed.